the coronavirus has hit our local economy very hard, and many of you are sitting at home right now wondering what comes next. That's why we're Skyping with Quentin Messer Jr. from the New Orleans Business Alliance, which has created the Gig Economy Relief Fund to talk about steps you can take to weather this uncertain time. Thank you so much for joining us. This fund is very important and much needed right now. Please tell us more about it. Thank you for having me. Um, the Gig Economy Relief Fund is really targeted toward our uh, drive share workers, musicians, visual artists, those individuals that rely on the cultural economy, the festival season for a majority of their uh, income. Yeah, and so tell us more. You guys have put some money into this fund, but you have a goal that's much larger than that. Talk about amounts here. Yes, we did. Uh, so my colleagues and I at the Business Alliance uh, sacrificially contributed $100,000 to initially uh, seed the fund. We were matched by uh, the generous contribution of Mrs. Gail Benson, $100,000. Um, and then our friends and neighbors across New Orleans, across the region, have contributed another 30000 And then Gulf Coast Banking Trust contributed 10000 So we're up to almost 250000 We have an initial goal of half a million. And given the scope of the need, we hope they'll be significantly larger than that. Awesome. How will that be distributed to our gig economy workers? Um, there's an application process. If you go to www nolaba.org backslash relief hyphen fund. Again, www.nolaba.org backslash relief hyphen fund. There's eligibility requirements. Um, the average grant size will be between $500 and $1,000. And after a 45 day period, people can uh, reapply subject to continued availability of funds. Awesome. And we will send people to your website to look at those specific eligibility requirements. But just give us some of the generic ones. You're a gig economy worker. And what else requirements would you have to meet? 60% of your income has to come from being a gig economy worker. You have to be a resident of Orleans Parish. Uh, you have to have some sort of evidence, uh, uh, whether it's a tax return or affidavit or something to show that you were uh, employed by the gig economy. And so these are, as you have on the screen, some of the elements, but we really want to be sensitive. Uh, my colleagues are working overtime to review applications and be as compassionate as possible. All right, and thank you very much. We have the documents on your screen right now that you need to qualify, but again, we'll send everyone to your website for more information on this. So just give us that website one more time, please, Quentin. It's www.nolaba.org backslash relief hyphen fund. Sure. Again, www.nolaba.org backslash relief hyphen fun. Thank you Thank so you much so for much that. To... Yeah, we appreciate you to... what you guys are doing. This impacts so many people in our area, as you said, between festivals, drivers. Of course, we are based on our cultural events, and a lot of those have been canceled. Quentin Messer, Jr., thank you so much for joining us. Guys, to apply and see more information, we're going to send you to that website that Quentin just gave you, the New Orleans Business Alliance's website. And to make it more convenient, we put the link on our website under the links tab so you can find that.